The Pittsburgh Science and Technology Academy is a brand new Pittsburgh public school serving 250 students in grades 6 through 9 and growing to serve 550 students in grades 6 through 12. The school was originally designed as a system synthesis project at Heinz College at Carnegie Mellon University in partnership with Pittsburgh Public Schools. Our goal with our systems project was to design a school that would be capable of taking students entering at a wide range of ability levels and connect them to advanced coursework in science, technology, engineering, and math before graduation and connect them to a real opportunity after graduation, something specific, rather than leaving it to chance and hoping they were well enough prepared that they would find their own opportunity. We wanted to build systems into the school that would make sure that every student graduated knowing what their next step would be. The unique thing about the Heinz College program and one of the things that attracted me to it was the fact that instead of culminating in a master's thesis uh, in research that might just go somewhere and um, sit on a shelf and never be utilized, the program culminates in something very real, a consulting project. And so 10 of us, 10 students, worked with Pittsburgh Public Schools as our client to develop the Science and Technology Academy. That was in, that started in August 2006. It is now um, fall 2009 and the school is a reality. So uh, I was a project manager of one of the two project managers of the Heinz College team. And when I graduated from Heinz in 2007, I was hired by Pittsburgh Public Schools to continue the management of the project and open the school. The new curriculum that we've introduced is called Dream Discover Design. So students learn to set goals, generate hypotheses, ask questions. They learn to do research. And then they learn to apply that research to the creation of things that are tangible, that they can touch, that they can share. This curriculum is going to grow over time. So it's not right now what we think it will be in a few years. but. We think that it's, it's very attractive to students and it's a, a very hands-on way to get them connected to these fields. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, I've been involved, I've been involved in a lot of projects. Um, usually they don't follow through, they're not implemented completely. Um, it's a lot to ask of a, of a giant project uh, and to have it three years later be something that's actually palpable. Uh, to think that only three years ago we were three years ago today we were you know just in the middle of the design of this school had no idea what it would look like even at the end of that semester let alone uh, to think that three years later we could be walking through these halls and talking to kids uh, who are actually at this school it's pretty neat I think that uh, as, as a nation we have a responsibility to realign our education system with our economy and with economic opportunities of our future. And students want to participate in these fields, but they need to be made accessible to them. You know? and, and the message that we shared with students was not, we need you to come to this school so that we can be economically competitive as a, as a nation. The message that we share with them is science, technology, engineering, math can be fun, can be hands-on, here's what it looks like. And through these fields, you can make a good living, but you can also do something even more powerful, which is you can make a difference in your community and in your world.